I'm Rob Black, talking money, investing more. Goal is to get you to retirement through investing, through saving, through earnings, through insurance, through the stock market, through real estate, and much, much more. Um, I love tech stocks. They tell great stories. This is starting to be earnings season. I love the bank stocks. They give a good reflection of the economy. Um, a lot to digest. The Biden administration is extending the COVID-19 public health emergency as highly infectious Omicron XBB. One five is starting to spread. Worthy of note, is this panic worthy? No. We've extended the public health emergency, which runs every 90 days since ultimately January 2020. So this is nothing new. But yeah, um, will we have another infectious disease in our lifetime? And will we be better prepared to handle it? I hope so. I think a lot of great technology in healthcare has been accelerated due to COVID. Um, my mother died due to COVID. So eh, maybe she died a couple years early. I mean, she was one of the elderly and that, that will happen. Other stories of note out there today, uh, the FAA has an interesting morning going on. Basically, flights were grounded across the United States. In large part, there was a technology unhinging. The FAA has lifted U.S. ground stop after the outage delays thousands of flights. I bring up the Omicron and the FAA as these are things that can happen any day ever, and you get surprised on Wall Street. No, there's always going to be something out there that pops up. It doesn't mean that we go to zero. It doesn't mean that it's a roller coaster. It doesn't mean that it's rigged. Don't even know Tony Mendez with Bay Area Loan Source. Dot com host of a show, The Real Estate Report, here on KDOW. You can hear him today, I believe, at 2 o'clock and tomorrow at 6 p.m. One of the top stories of the day, Tony, is mortgage refinance demand surges as homeowners take advantage of lower interest rates. As a home lender, are you seeing that? Uh, good morning. Um, I think that story might be a little bit... Um, aggressive uh, rates really aren't changing that much where it's going to have this mass uh right. you know set of applications to refinance but what i we are seeing people locking in um on the dips and we do see some big swings uh you know six and a half to 5.75 or six percent to five and a half that's kind of what people are looking for and when that does happen people are jumping on those those lower rates when they do happen one year ago today, the rate was 3.52%. How things change, Mr. Mendez, is that not a true statement? How things change? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, we're, we hit a, I think a 22 year low on applications. I think it went back to as far as it was, it was tracked. So it's, it's refinance is going to be tough for a lot of people, but people are still going to need to take advantage of the lower rates. Uh, I'm sorry, a refinance and look for those lower rates. So shopping for a, a good rate still makes sense. So we're doing a transaction right now where um, a couple is separating and they need to buy the other person out and they need to refinance to get the money out. So there are, are reasons why people will still need to refinance even at the rates where they are today. Interesting that you mentioned that because that's one of the very first stories I found in Wall Street 20 plus years ago is that Women into the divorce tend to take the house because the kids know it. It's the school district. It's their friends. And I kind of was controversial because I said split everything 50-50 and, and move on. Um, it's interesting how financial planning interweaves with real estate at times. Let's talk about home seller concessions. I bought my home 18 months ago. You got me an amazing mortgage. Thank you. Under 3%, well under 3%. That feels like a long time ago, but I wish I would have gotten more seller concessions. Where, what are we looking at 18 months later? 18 months later, we're more towards a buyer's market, which means that you know sellers are going to have to do what it takes to get the buyer's attention. In a lot of cases, they're dropping the, the price, but some, in some ways, they don't want to do that, so they're going to give concessions like... I'm going to give you 1% or 2%, maybe it's a dollar amount, like 10,000. And then it's up to the buyer to do whatever they want with it. And in many cases, when you have higher rates, they go toward, like we are right now, they go towards what they call temporary buy downs, which can give them like a one or two year retreat on rate by like one or 2%, or they just buy the rate down, or they just put it towards closing costs with the hopes of refinancing later. So sellers are a little bit more open to these types of concessions just to get their house on the market and get some traction. 
it's interesting that we talk about that because I've done probably six or seven transactions with you minimum in the last 20 years. And every time I, I go, do I buy down points? Do I buy down points? And I would say a majority of them, I wanted to buy down points to get a lower payment over time. And then ultimately I sold that mortgage <laughs> or sold the house later and I didn't really need it, but it gave me a little peace of mind, something to be said for peace of mind. In the buyer's market, having that seller give you the money to do it makes is a little bit more palatable. Okay. And I think that's what we're talking about here. Good, good. I'm glad you know your stuff because I'm glossing over it and you're in the details. Um, let's talk about Bay Area home prices and making it or breaking it. Home prices are dropping in the Bay Area again. Um, in the last, I would say, 10 months, I've looked at my home peak in Zillow and Redfin valuations. In the last 10 months, every month, they send me a report like, houses in your neighborhood sold for a little bit less. Houses in your neighborhood sold for a little bit less. Houses in your neighborhood sold for a little bit less. And it feels like I'm on a losing streak. I feel like I'm blackjack like eight, nine months in a row of, of flipping and the, the dealer has 21. Um, what are you seeing in Bay Area housing prices? Well, that's exactly what we're seeing. You know, sales are, are low. Um, okay. Say, uh, buyer, um, buyers are, there's not a lot of them right now looking. So everything's kind of anemic. I keep using that word because it's what it really feels like. We are seeing prices drop. We, we, we ran, like, we run something called an AVM. Um, it's a valuation kind of done through, you know, sales. It, there's plenty of places that can do these. We, we run them over and over and on some of these properties and we're seeing about 10% from mid last year till today. Um, and we do these for people who are looking for equity lines, because if you get an equity line under 250,000, in many cases, you can, you don't need an appraisal, but only if they have what they call high confidence on the value. But now that's pulled back. So not only is the value dropping, the confidence level of that value is dropping. So we're seeing that across the board. So tax seasons here, self-employed borrowers and those with income properties need to pay attention to net incomes. How much more difficult is it to get a loan as being self-employed? And we're starting to run out of time. Um, it, it, it can be. When you're W-2 to use your gross income, when you're self-employed to use your net. So a lot of people who are self-employed enjoy those tax deductions, but that also changes their net amount much lower. So it's really important that you pay attention to that net number. And that's what we talk about every tax season is, is this is the time when you, if you're doing a transaction in the next year or two, definitely talk to a loan officer to, to see what amount you need for income. And if you have to make any adjustments, this is the time to start thinking about it. As they say on hot ones, all the cameras are on you, the microphones are on you. Give yourself a quick plug as you step out. Well, we do the radio, uh, the real estate report radio show at 2 p.m. today. It reruns on Thursday and on Saturday. It's a fun show. Call it in. It's um, you can ask any questions about real estate or mortgages, and we do our you know have our Facebook. We repost the uh, the shows for our podcast. It's it's a Got fun it. show. You can find them at BayAreaLoanSource.com. You can hear them today at 2 p.m. live. There's a podcast out there where you typically get podcasts. It's called the Real Estate Report with Gordon and Tony. I'm Rob Black talking all things financial, money, investing, and more.